Hello, good morning. I just want to make a quick video about a Home Depot product. Um, it's a quarter round for their uh, Traffic Master floor line, which I think is their lower grade floor line. I can't remember the name of the higher grade one, but this quarter round, it's a shoe, well, it's, it's a quarter round. It's not really a shoe mold because it's literally a quarter round. Uh, so it's not a shoe mold. A shoe mold, one side will be taller. But um, this product is kind of dangerous if you're nailing it on. This hard plastic is really hard for one thing, and it's hollow. I don't even know how the nail holds it, honestly, because it seems like it would blow right through, but it does seem to hold it. These, if you're using an 18 gauge pin gun, these babies will bounce right off of this. So if you shoot it, anything other than straight in at the bottom, you gotta go to the bottom and shoot it straight in. I kind of shot it like that. It just hit me right in the face, right here. And it hit me in the eye too. And it happened about three times. I got one on my head, I got one here. It happened three or four times. So I started wearing big giant goggles when I was nailing it on. And I was shooting it just as low as I could or, or trying to get it like this, but that's kind of, that can be tough because my nail wouldn't be long enough to reach. So I'm trying to hit the, you know, the bottom plate. But uh, this is, um, I don't remember the name of the color. I think it's like Edmunds Oak, but um, it's, it's the Traffic Master, this hollow plastic, real hard quarter round product. This, this angle of it's like a shield. It deflects these nails. They fly right at your face. So watch out for this stuff. Another thing about some of this Home Depot quarter rounds, they, they put the sticker on the outside. And when you try to peel it off, it does this every time. And you stand there for half an hour trying to get that sticky stuff off. All these quarter rounds have this gross sticky sticker on the outside and it doesn't come off easily. Shame on you, Home Depot. Hey there, so I'm gonna make a cope. I'm gonna cope this quarter round. I've got it all clamped up and ready. So typically you cut it at a 45 and you use a coping saw or something, but I'm gonna use this. I've got a, an angle grinder with a metal blending uh, uh, bit on there. And with this thing, you can do any cope in about 30 seconds. That actually took took a lot more than 30 seconds because I was doing it one-handed, but that's how you do it.